So we've been using the Nature Spa products now for a little while. As you can see right now, it's a little foamy. And there's a bit of foam buildup now, but this water is uh, just over a couple months old. And I generally skim off the extra foam. You know, it's protein in the foam, I guess. But otherwise, it doesn't smell funky or anything. It's a little foamy. pH is uh, 7.37, so I'm trying to keep it about 7.3. So far, so good. So here's your three major ingredients. Keeping your spa nice. This is a natural spa enzyme stuff. ClarityWaterProducts.com. It's one of these every couple of months, or if uh, you're using it a lot more, uh, you can put in one a month, I guess. It's a certain bather goes by bather load so the more bathers you have the more you got to add that and that's your pricey stuff if your uh, pH goes down too far it's too acidic it's uh, sodium bicarbonate baking soda real cheap I've only had to use this a couple times and if your pH goes up uh, I've had it go up to about 7.8 7.9 and gone through uh, just regular vinegar this stuff is 5% acetic acid by volume uh, just get the cheap stuff. You don't need to get, you know, real nice stuff. And uh, this is a four liter. I've used about half of that, and I've used a two and a half liter. So I've used uh, two and uh, two and a half, four and a half liters total in about two months to keep the pH within range. Uh, then we got. Uh, I had some other stuff before, but this stuff's all the same: potassium monopersulfate, uh, chlorine free shock, one pound bags uh, on eBay you can find it for about I think I paid about thirty dollars for twelve pounds shipped so that's pretty cheap stuff and you add uh, one or two tablespoons of that stuff after uh, all your bathers get out and you shock the water and if you want to have nice fresh water you can shock it uh, before you get in the water with just maybe a half a tablespoon and then uh, you know, run the jets for about five minutes and it's, you're good to go, you can get back in the tub. So pretty simple system, extremely low cost for your chemicals. Uh, no chlorine, no bromine, uh, so far so good. The water's a little foamy in the last uh, few weeks or so, but you know, uh, just over two months and we've had pretty high bather load, uh, so I'm not too worried about that. Basically just skim off the extra foam. Uh, when it's time to empty the water, we're going to add this stuff, Crystal Clean. It's uh, basically uh, citrus stuff, and I believe it's acetic acid or something in there, just kind of like the vinegar, but real strong. And uh, my uncle used this on his tub, and he said a bunch of his jets that he thought were faulty started working again. So this really cleans out the pipes and everything in the tub. So you huck this into your tub, turn on the jets and everything for uh, 20 minutes or something like that, and then uh, basically drain it and refill and then add your new bottle and adjust your pH if need be and you're good to go again for uh, one or two months and uh, before you have to do anything major so pretty good system so far pretty happy with it definitely happy not to uh, be sitting in any kind of chlorine or bromine because there's no reason that you should be pickling your liver when you're sitting in your hot tub Just spin it to lock. That's it. Let me turn the temperature back up. Alright, that's it for another week or so.